Uh, my name is Shah Abbas. Thank you for joining back again with Imam Hussain TV. Um, so I've got a second guest, Khulud. Uh, Sr. Khulud, we're going to be discussing about under one flag uh, during our discussions about uh, the Arbain walk itself. And we're also going to discuss about the lessons that we've learned uh, when we were doing this Arbain walk, uh, the humbling experience that we've shared and how we can implement it when we go back home. So, uh, thank you for joining us thank on uh, the Imam Hussain TV. So, under one flag, we've got millions from all over the world. And what does it mean in the bigger picture? What is it, the idea, what statement is getting made? What statement of unity is getting made? I think the most beautiful feeling uh, about uh, walking from Najaf to Karbala and then getting to Karbala and walking in Karbala streets is that every step you take you hear a different dialect uh, you realize that you're not there's there's a uniting sense where you, you cannot understand the other person but you know him or you can understand why he's here yeah. it's it's um, it's very very beautiful very magical how you and a million or millions of people that you do not know are walking to one direction or through one direction to one destination and we all on that street start as Khulud, Abbas, uh, this person and that person, Lebanese, Persian, this person and that person but when we get to Karbala, when we get to to the shrine, we are all lovers of Hussein. I think we were speaking with the guest earlier on itself is the, the, the stages of love, uh, of how much we are in love with the Abdullah itself that we are walking from the Najaf to Karbala, and and uh, one of the one of the way that we are showing the love is by carrying out this task of of, of putting away the comforts of our lives and taking that step further and coming back. So how was your experience when you walked? What was it? Did you, did you enjoy the experience? It was, I think I was so keen on getting to Karbala. I was, I was longing to, I, I skipped sleeping some, okay. some nights because I just wanted to get here as, as soon as possible. Mm. But it was also very humbling to, to see people who literally have nothing to serve, but find something to give. If it's not water, if it's not food, then it's a massage, yes. then it's a smile, it's a chat, it's a socialize, socialization session. It's always, it's just so humbling to feel like people are treating you like family when they've never met you before they feel a sense of responsibility towards Absolutely. you to help you when they have nothing to give but they're giving you so much Absolutely. i think the most important thing about the, the the walk that we do is they have the blessings with it right there's, there's a lot of blessings that you do for the walk every step that you take reduces your sins by about, uh, about a thousand and and add a thousand blessings and increases your status by about a thousand percent. And the most important part itself is to think about it is you're a real person. Yeah. You're giving up your time, you're giving up everything for a man that you love. The man I made a standpoint justice about Abdullah Hussein ibn Ali, who did that for us. So going back home now, what are the lessons that you would be taking home with yourself? I think it's well it's it's that sense of it's that sense of who am I and what am I doing to 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 propagate this message of love and kindness. The most beautiful thing about walking from Najaf to Karbala is not just that your sins are being you know forgiven with every step of the way, you are being enriched with so much emotional um, openness and you are uh, you are actually discovering yourself and your and your your not not just like your physical stamina but like your emotional yeah. stamina having to walk past people who are you know handicapped or have problems mm. and they're still walking you're complaining because your legs are hurting yeah and then there's like um, a person who has who, who has one limb and they're walking and they're not complaining and you feel like a small speck of dust. The bigger picture itself is you giving up your comfort level. Yeah, you I think. You going to go home? Would you appreciate that more? I, of course. I mean, you will understand 
one, you will understand that you are very blessed and you, you definitely will appreciate your food more, your, your luxuries more, your comfort, your water, the, 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 the easy accessibility of things. You will appreciate them, but I think the bigger thing that you will feel is that that sense of, oh, I, I'm Belonging ready to well. give, yeah, I'm ready to give this up again. And, and go see that man again and Absolutely. again and again. It's um, it's like a it becomes an, like a like a like an energy ball, like an energy sphere of love. Walking from Najaf to Karbala, it's not human humans from uh, like London or from Lebanon or from uh, uh, India or whatever. It's it's a it's a huge sphere of light and love passing through from Najaf to Karbala to, to meet its, you know, like its, its vortex is Absolutely. so beautiful. I think for me personally, when I, when I was walking there from Najaf to Karbala, number one, very humbling experience, challenging. I was, uh, it was not easy. It was, it was difficult. difficult. But it made my mind stronger. Yeah. I learned that I could achieve these things. That's the way, run, number one. Number two, as you said, food, clean water. I would appreciate clean water and food more than I have family. I was, I thought I was home actually. Yeah, I didn't feel like I missed home. my family at all. Like I didn't even think about my family when I was here. It was like a quick message, just sending it a message to your just family. To, yeah, just, just to, to them keep, them okay. them, keep them posted about them your posted, safety. Okay safety. Yeah. I didn't think about them at all. I think and it's just so beautiful to think that for me, for example, I I came to to Nezha, uh, to walk to Karbala with a lot of pain inside of me mm. because I have gone through something very mm. difficult. But during that walk, I think I had the time to reflect, to understand, to see other people um, combating difficulties. And I realized when I got to Karbala and got to go into the shrines, I realized that that pain was gone. I mm. forgot about my pain. I forgot about everything. I could only feel Imam Hussein. I could only feel Hazrat Abbas. I think that every single step that we make, the blessings and apart from that was, when you're thinking that I am in pain, you think about Abdullah. When you're thinking about water, you're thinking about Hussein yeah. Ali. When you're thinking about I am tired, you're thinking about three the, days insanity of Allah, the insanity of, of love of Abba Abdullah is that by the time we got to Karbala my my ankle was swollen it was painful but I wanted to see I wanted to see that shrine I wanted to walk all the way to that shrine I didn't want to give up and every time I, I felt the pain in my ankle it was more of it's okay feel that pain you it will make you someone who deserves to see Abba Abdullah it will it will it's it's your it's your declaration of love to Abba Abdullah that you're ready to feel all that pain to see just the dome of Abba Abdullah's shrine so it's Absolutely. yeah it's just I think the lessons that we've learned that we can implement when we go back home number one say thank you for what we have yeah be grateful for what we have number two is the, the feeling of giving the, the giving the feeling of every single person in the, in the land of Karbala is taking us in their houses giving the food all it's the stores that we see outside yeah. it's all free I haven't put my hand in my pocket unless I want to buy something Food is they out beg there. you they to. They beg you to get. So number that number two is is the act of giving. It's a selfless giving. Number three, forgiveness. Every single time you're on the stall, we're asking, "I'm so sorry if I hurt you." Or, you know, you're yeah. walking on the street. You just worry that you just bump into someone, yeah. or your 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 luggage. Like in every, like it's it. You know how crowded it gets, and it gets really like cramped together. And maybe when you're home, you do not tolerate that. You're like you 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 probably start a fight. But here, it doesn't phase you. Patience. It doesn't phase you. Yeah, you feel patient. You feel it's worth it. It's for Abba Abdullah. I can put up with this even if they're crushing my bones. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's worth it. So it's patience. It's it's that sense of there's there's a bigger purpose to things than just, you know, I'm stuck in this moment. It's, it's a bigger Absolutely. purpose. I think there's a lot of lessons that we've learned walk itself and it's a, it's, a, it's a part of going back and implementing it in our day to day life and also telling the world about who Hussein himself is, yeah. who is Imam Hussein himself, who is Abu Fazl, who is Elbert, the lessons that we've learned, um, the education was strong, not just a physical experience, the emotional experience as well, is that I've got to know my Imams more better than I would and now I think it's a matter of us going home and reflecting and energizing. Ultimately it is, it's taking all that 
love and peace that you feel in the shrines and around the shrines and taking it for a rainy day back home when you feel like you're drained and yeah. tired from your routine and you remember Karbala and you feel like you left a piece of you there because you, you start longing to it. Like I, I'm already dreading leaving. Um, so um, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much thank for, you uh, for coming having on uh, Imam Hussain TV. And uh, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, we've just a day past Arbaeen. Uh, we've just completed the walk from Najaf to Karbala. It was a very humbling experience. There were a lot of challenges, but we put our mind to it to, to get it done. I suggest and I recommend, if you have not done it, to do it next year, inshallah. And if you have done it, to do it again next year, inshallah. And thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Khuda Afiz. Assalamu alaikum.